Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, the number one place for tips, lifestyle hacks, and overall motivation. So I'm gonna be going over just breaking this video into sections, that's why I'm in different outfits. But I wanted to definitely go over that I am doing a review on a Eureka Power Vacuum Cleaner. This one, I'm excited to open. I need a vacuum because my last one broke, and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna start opening it. Okay, that way we can see what the inside looks like. This is, I had Amazon put a box, their packaging, a box in a box. So that way, just in case if this were to make it on my front door, nobody sees, you know, what I have or they're like, oh, I want to get it. I don't know. I do have a lot of people that like to steal packages off my doorstep, which isn't fun, but try to make it work. So that's why it's in a box, it's in a box in a box is in a box this is the package okay so I'm gonna open the box this box now a box in a box in a box it looks like well just to go over it I guess really fast hold on okay so this is what the box looks like it's the Eureka power speed uh, vacuum cleaner this is the blue and yellow model um just something for my apartment that i thought had well saw that had good reviews multi-floor cleaning um it's like known for it being lightweight um there's an extra large dust cup that's actually here larger than other ones and yeah we'll just go over the whole thing but yeah this is what the box looks like just take like a knife around the edges just to get the tape off easier Okay, and so this is what the inside looks like of the box. Just gonna start going through this. But, looks like here's the instruction manual. Couple clip pieces here. I think this is for the back, yeah, for the cords for the vacuum. That help hold the cords in, hold the cords in place. There's a little brush, yeah, it's set up nice, package. Um, here's this part as well, kind of get into crevices and cracks in between walls and whatnot like around there so yeah let's get this open okay so going through here inside here are some of the pieces I'll make sure to go over the names as after I open this and everything little piece there extra pieces on my couch it looks like this is just all inside so here's what it looks like inside it looks like this is the vacuum right here um, I'm just gonna pull this out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so okay so this is what she looks like oh it's a cute little well not like little because this is the handle part that clips on. Um, looks nice, like stainless steel as well right here. Um, here's this tube. And that's all that's in the box. So I'll just move that right there. Set these right here. So it comes like in a little bag, plastic bag and everything. This is, ooh, she looks nice. Oh yes. She looks nice. And you know what? Don't come and attack me, y'all, if this ain't your type of vacuum or whatever. It's okay, everybody's reviews can be different, but I just like blue and I went with this vacuum and I'm like, oh. Okay, not just because of the color, okay. But I just figured this had really great reviews, known for its uh, filter, the literally reusable filter. It's bigger, so it holds more. And you don't have to continuously go to stores and buy new filters just to make it so you can keep cleaning your floors over and over again. This, here's the vacuum cleaner Eureka Power Speed Vacuum. It's known for being lightweight. There is people on Amazon, if you do your research, even on YouTube, I found a couple reviews on there and the people's experiences have been great ones. Um, 
very little of bad reviews on here due to this lady complaining about the whistling noise in the vacuum it might be louder whichever um so it's not always going to be 100 percent with certain people but uh, everybody has different reviews and it's always gonna be either good or it's gonna be bad but this one had like over 45,000 reviews I believe on this vacuum so apparently around the world it's you know been bought more than obviously wants a few times for people to kind of be like oh okay it's good so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start setting it up let me just show you guys like a camera shot though so you can see okay so this is what the Eureka vacuum looks like there is the removable washable filter that's nice definitely saving you money because you don't have to worry about buying more like i mentioned before here is okay i don't know what you call this but we'll just call this the switch on the vacuum i don't know this exact name yet but the switch on the vacuum it definitely has adjustments that way for lower carpet different materials like rugs they're higher they're lower they're thinner they're thicker so things like this where you see it's kind of like thick you can adjust it so it is the higher carpet or base carpet it really can pick up on hardwood flooring as well without having to worry about scratches um, these wheels um, are known to easily you know make its way on harder wood flooring that way you don't have to worry about scratches crevices coming in or any of that so we're gonna go ahead and set this part up here this is the handle that it comes detached clip that right on there it clips. there we go so it just clips right in just like that okay I definitely need to go over the names correctly with you guys so i'll do that in the meantime i'm just going to set this up for right now and then we'll go over the names but yeah this is every you know usually people know about vacuums and if you're uneducated about it that's totally okay too we're still learning everybody's learning okay <laughs> go ahead and drop this these two pieces go on the back of here to attach for the cord um, yeah, two pieces, yellow, blue, cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna actually do this part first. I think this one goes, hold on. I gotta actually look at the instructions because, yeah. So this one goes on top like that and it just clips right on there so it's nice and easy. Flips this way, okay. And then this one attaches on the bottom like so. I guess this one doesn't clip, maybe? And it kind of just scoots more like that so yeah I guess just like that and it faces down and the instruction manual is pretty self-explanatory it's pretty uh, nice pictures so if there are certain people with conditions whether it be dyslexia ADHD whatever it is learning disability on the autism spectrum you never know with people um, like me honestly like it's so nice to have pictures and in instruction manuals that way you know how to set it up, what you're talking about, whatever. You know, sometimes it's easier for other people than it is, and sometimes it's harder, and sometimes it's in between. So yeah, it's very nice to have this as well. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is put the tube on here. Um, this helps for cleaning later. This actually, you wanna turn it clockwise until it clicks in. This okay, so not that other way, I just had it in. You wanna hold it this way so the thing curves so it can come across the top and then we could lock it back down on the bottom for the other side as well. So let's try this again. You wanna push that in, twist it, and then it clips in like that. You see how it's just hanging? And you wanna take this part and then you wanna bring it over here and then that way it can come into here. Perfect. All right, y'all, so this is where I started recording, and when I was recording this section, I'm just doing a voiceover now just because I thought I was missing pieces to this vacuum, and it turns out, so these are two on the instruction manual different types of vacuum models. Um, the one on the left is a different one because that one does have the headlights, and I noticed the other one does not, and as well as different brushes as I was going through the instruction manual. Now, if you ever do have any other questions regarding anything else other than the experience that I do not have, have or did not fully cover 
um, feel free to call Eureka Customer Service Helpline at 1-800-282-2886. And they should be able to help you other than that. But um, just so you guys know, on the instruction manual, um, it does say, if you look at little boxes here and there, this one did say headlights on select models only, um, which is the different one, NEU 186 to NEU 188. And the model that we have here is NEU 182A. And so it does show as well on the picture of having the dusting brush, upholstery tool, and as well as the crevice tool for the model NEU-180, as well as NEU-187. So just to be sure, the NEU-12A model is the one that we have. The NEU-180 is a series of up to five models of vacuums. So the numbers below each tool are just telling you what it can fit on up to in between what vacuum it can fit with whatever numbers. And the model we have is NEU-182A. So again, just to make sure we're clear, this uh, vacuum came only with the three pieces, the dusting brush, the upholstery tool, and the crevice tool. And those are the only pieces that it came with. Okay, so putting the pieces together on the vacuum though, so it does have the pictures on the instructions and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just follow those and show you. So for this crevice tool here, this one it has a place right here, right on that part that we put on. You just stick that in there and that way it stays. All right, and then this piece here is gonna go on this left-hand side of the vacuum. Just stick it right there. And then our last piece here goes on the right side. So we're gonna stick this on the opposite side here. That way we don't lose these pieces. There we go. We have the vacuum done just need to go ahead and take this part off for the yeah plug in now that's all set up and it's nice we're gonna go ahead and go over it now going over this you could just take this part and take it off like this and press this button on top and it comes off and it removes well I guess you didn't have to do that first to really press this you could just press the button to remove it and then you can do this to open it there we go so this is the filter part the inside filter very nice and big compared to other vacuums that i've seen for the size so that's really a beneficial part of this vacuum definitely nice to have that there this is a washable foam filter going over this alongside the filter screen more down the bottom of this dust cup here Oop. so that came off but i'll go ahead grab this this is washable and reusable filter take this off here inside first i don't know if i should take this off hold on uh you know what no i think we leave it on I'm just like not fully sure because it's like the picture really isn't as clear to me, but it looks like it's still on there because this hook part, this yellow hook part that loops like this is attached to it. So I guess I'm assuming this does stay on. I'm not going to take it off. I did rip this one side out already. Oops, but I think we'll be okay. So we're just going to leave it on because um, that's what it shows and it's looking like in the pictures with the latch still attached on the bottom there. So yeah, when it needs to be clean, just lift it out, put it um, back and everything once it's clean and dried off. And then you want to grip tabs out, oh, filter screen twist bottom, yeah, all of that. So this is where it comes. Oops. And you would put it back like, it came like this on the inside. This is the inside fil filter part. See that? And then this, as you see, if you notice like how it turns like that. So you always know that you're putting it in right. Make sure this matches with this coming out so like like that and then it twists you can twist that so where it can make sure it's being filtered out properly as you are using the vacuum so yeah that's the way that that goes in you can go ahead and just click that back like that on there and just put her back together she'll clip in so here's the underside of the vacuum and I'm noticing the wheel is out of place a little. It looks like the vacuum's still gonna work, you know, but it just looks like this wheel kind of got knocked 
out of place a little bit, so I'm going to try and fix that. And if not, I'm sure the vacuum will still work. Yay, it literally took me like third, like 10 seconds maybe, but yeah, I just like pushed that wheel right back in. and Yeah, we're good now, so the wheel is in place. There's underneath here as well. There looks like to be... Here's that, the brush, and yeah, I want to, I can't wait to see how this picks up. Here we are, different day. This is the dust cup. This is it. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to clean this when I, um, started vacuuming and everything well my battery died but and i forgot to record after that and i just started yeah vacuuming anyways this is the dust cup and it's full i already vacuumed and everything um battery died so i'll just come back and um show you guys when i vacuum again but here is right after this basically i'm just going to empty this now this picked up so much out of my carpets and my couch and everything with all of that in there. So after my couch, my floors and my room and my living room, this has been in there for a little bit. It's been like about a week now. So anyways, it's time to record. And I love how um, the benefits to this is like, I love how it's clear. Um, once it goes in the vacuum and everything, it comes um, with this air filter or the filter screen and everything. And then it shows you how to empty it. Oh. I guess like there's the instructions of how to clean this better. All right, so this is the dust cup here, um, fairly large. This is the one that is really nice because I like how much larger this one is and as well as how it is clear. So you can see what you pick up, how much you pick up and yeah, maybe you picked up a spider, an ant or something, whoever knows what's living in your freaking carpets. Um, but you know, this is after about a week's worth of a couple times going throughout with my cat and my son, dropping crumbs everywhere and yeah, so this is um, how we open it. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and then record a separate section of me vacuuming, so after I empty this and you guys can see what whichever. This is the button that you press here and then here's the instructions on here as well um, that you can go ahead and check out. It shows you how to clean the filter um, and let it dry for 24 hours and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we're gonna empty it and you press this button and it releases so you don't have to open it from the top. Um, there is this option right here just to open it and just grab it to release it to open it to grab the filter. Um, but yeah, this is the part to release it. So we're gonna go ahead and press this button. Ooh, yeah, that went all in there. There we go. It's a lot of freaking dust. I should have been holding the lid, I guess. So some didn't get in here. Which is fine, we'll just clean it anyway and just wipe it out, but. Next time I just recommend like once you press the button, go like this, maybe, yeah, don't tip it upside down, but yeah. And then you can see up in the filter screen up there that it is, that some hairs and other materials are just stuck up in there. And so that's good that you're able to wash this part, clean it, dry it to whichever and um, yeah, go from there. And it's nice too because say if you want to put this down somewhere, it has that nice flat surface so you can just easily put it down. Um, yeah, and then this is where I'm just going to go ahead and open this part. You just put this down. Open that. Take that out like so. See all those extra hairs. You can go ahead and just take those off. Just like extra wrappers from straws and stuff. Yeah, just got caught up in there. Go ahead and take that off. It's pretty dusty. It's not like terrible, but this is the part they could take out or like like that and whatnot. Um, I'll put that there just for a second. So this is what um, the pictures show to separate, and you can just clean this off and whatnot too. And um, if you are cleaning this one, make sure that it stays out for 24. Um, 
So if you are cleaning this one, then you just make sure that you keep this out for 24 hours um, to allow itself to dry. Um, I don't know, or if you can put it in a dryer, I don't really see a problem if it was in a dryer, if you maybe secure it with some stuff or not mix it with other things just so it's alone. And since it, since it is more delicate, I think this um, white part on top is supposed to stay with it. So in that case, if you clean this, obviously water and stuff and leave it to dry, or if you want to dry it quickly, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to throw it in the dryer. Um, but like maybe put it in like a little package or something like that so it keep holds it together if that makes sense. Like put it in like a big spacious sock or pillowcase or something and just tie it and then so it stays flat as it washes and dries at the same time. Just so it holds that and risk uh, not getting damaged and this pulling out if it's mixed with other things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and then this just goes back here like this. There we go. That goes back there and like this and you take it out it back in um, going back to this part here yeah some hairs like got caught up in here oh it looks like it does have like little um, an unlock and a lock um, written on here um, let me see maybe just like take my fingers and clean it out there all those extra hairs out uh, okay so like this is what it did okay so there's like an arrow in here because this comes apart so you can easily wash this and then easily dry it um, there's like those little unlock and lock buttons on there so this has like a certain particular pattern like that goes in here um, that way once you put it in there it shapes it and you could twist it back in um, so yeah, there's that little latch part hole that goes right there and then you just lock it. So see how it twists, unlock and lock. Unlock is left and then lock is right. So then that comes apart and then you can easily take this apart and just wash it and then just make sure if you're trying to use it immediately and just whatever time frame zone that you're in and you're like, oh, throughout your day scheduled pattern, oh, I want to empty this out but I want to clean this right now and then use the vacuum, okay? Because it hasn't been cleaned or in a while or just bugged you, you need to clean it or whatever reason. So make sure it's dry thoroughly. Whether um, I don't think it would hurt, like just like coming up with little hacks. I don't know me thinking, but a faster way to dry it if and can't get in between every little crevice and crack and hole, and you're trying to use it faster. Then maybe if you have like a blow dryer or leave it outside in the wind, you know, I don't know. Um, but a blow dryer, I feel like would dry it just cool air, super cold air. So you're not risking anything, um, melting plastic or melting rubber. Um, so yeah, if you're trying to dry it off faster, but yeah, just leave it out overnight, put it on a towel after you wash it. Um, give it some time to dry, th um, all the way. You don't want to mix water with electricity unless that is made for it particularly, but in this case it isn't. So Okay, so these wheels are made for hardwood flooring so that they don't slide. Um, when I have tried this on my hardwood floors, there's been no scratches or anything like that in that matter. So honestly, it's worked just fine on the hardwood floors for me. So, and it's very uh, decent, light and whatnot. I mean, honestly, it's not like the lightest for an older person or somebody that has a health condition or some type of muscle tone weakness, whatever it may be. That their body is unable to lift um certain things that are pretty heavy for me this isn't like the lightest weight vacuum like it's saying it is um it's honestly just like a regular size vacuum to me and lifts just the same but it does make it a billion times easier when you're not just lifting this part of the vacuum and going places you can just lift the vacuum like this it makes it easier to go places some people have concerns i was looking on reviews on amazon about if this part is missing any pieces and no it is not it is supposed to look just like that and I'm going to show you something with this handle as well of what you can do when you're vacuuming with this as well so a thing you can do with this vacuum with the handle here is this part comes off and how to take it off is this handle here this presses down on the vacuum like this 
as you press down on it, you lift up the handle. And this comes off, well, of course, first take this part off. And then that's going to release the handle. This part comes off. And the good thing about this is, is once you grab that off and you take this tube, you can reconnect it with your vacuum. So you want to do it right um, here. There's going to be a little hole. So you're going to attach this part to this part. So that's why it looks like it's missing a piece. It's not. But there's this little pattern here where there's that hole right in there. You're going to stick that in and then turn it. So it locks that in place. That way you have a longer handle to a vacuum other surfaces such as couches and whatnot. If you need be to attach it longer to something, say your back freaking hurts, you know, you're old or I don't know, there's something going on with you. Just in general for people, <laughs> just throwing some jokes, but just in general for people, you can attach any of the three pieces that it came with or if you have any other pieces from other vacuums that may fit your this vacuum cool, you can do that as well. This is gonna attach to this part and say you wanna get in cracks and crevices. Oh, look at that, you have more of space to do so. So this, yeah, it comes off and you can, yeah, attach any of those pieces or, yeah, any other pieces that you have that will fit a vacuum because it's made for it, you know? But that's how you do that. And then to take this back apart, you wanna go ahead and just retwist this. You can just retwist this and then that comes off like that. Yeah, I put it back on, on, off like that. And so you wanna put it back together, right? So what you're gonna do is come here and just put the handle on first. Put this, just leave this down because you're obviously gonna need this part to put it across. So then you're just gonna come and clip this back in on the vacuum, put it back in there and match that. And then that clips in there like so. And yeah, again, just release the lever and then lift, but yeah, it just clips back in. Bring this part back around. The hose, not the tube, going through my editing. <laughs> the hose and then yeah just attach it right back to the vacuum like so right there and you are good to go this vacuum also is loud just like a regular vacuum for me it's not the quietest it's not the lightest machine either it's like a regular size vacuum for me again um so lifting is yeah everybody's body weight whatever tone is experience is different for everyone like oh it's heavy it's not the lightest for them well so if you're an older, again, elderly person or have any type of problems with your back, muscle lifting, um, you're just weaker in general with certain things, then you know this is a great um, vacuum when it comes to um, just being a, a good vacuum. But lifting it, it makes it a lot easier when it has the handle here. It gives you more body control. So lifting it's better, but any other vacuum, I mean, it's just the same weight for me. So anyways. This part is the pedals of the vacuum where you press this so it releases the handle to come down and then this is the one to turn the vacuum on so always make sure when you go to use your vacuum make sure that it's attached correctly okay so in this case make sure with the type of carpet you have this carpet's a pretty low one that one's thicker I'm not gonna do the rug but I'm gonna do this one here vacuum has a pretty powerful motor in there so you don't want to do too much so we're gonna do low carpet so it's like in the middle of it and then this is going to highest to the high carpet so I'm gonna go ahead and just do low carpet because that's the, the one that we're on and yeah we're gonna try that clean it up What's this <laughs> All right, y'all, don't mind my nasty juice stains on the carpet as well as Play-Doh. I am going to be giving you guys a review on a new product with that coming up soon as well. So I can go ahead and get these stains out of my carpet. And yeah, so this is me vacuuming and everything like that. And this vacuum does pick up pretty great. It is honestly not the quietest vacuum, not like um, ma many people would like or request to have a quieter vacuum. Uh, keep in mind, this is a machine. If you are one of those people who do think like that, um, that is going to make a loud noise, just like any other vacuum. So every experience can be different, but my vacuum, honestly, from my previous ones just growing up or the ones I've experienced growing up, that's worked just fine. 
yeah they are just as loud so yeah this is a vacuum that is great on my carpet and the on the low base part of here so it picks up really well and it also picks up really great on my floor as well okay so this is how much oh geez that picked up out of my freaking carpet but yeah i need to remove these stains because my carpet's gross but it's fine it's life it's the truth and it happens so i gotta do a review on my next vacuum cleaner anyways this is how much it collected yeah so it picked up quite a bit and it picks up very well and see how it just like collects that dust in there again and make sure you clean that filter you know monthly but looks like even just after that it's like depends on how it goes on or whatever or just in general where the dust decides to get stuck at it's just nice to clean it more frequent also i wanted to show you this part too so like I, well, I like to use the brush for my cat tree. It's just easier, honestly, because it's like with the way how thick this is, I just sit and go like this and get my cat hair off my cat tree and it just sucks it all in for me. But anyways, just to show you like a little example here, I use this for my cat tree. So I like to do it like that because like as the hair sits and collects, I sit and I tear it off. And then as the vacuum's on, of course, I'll just throw it in there and then it sucks it up faster for me. So yeah, that's how I clean my cat's cat tree. There she is, she's just chilling. She's just chilling. I gotta do that top part too, but I'm just gonna let her rest there for a bit first and I'll do it later. She's the reason for the hair on my carpets. A great thing to know about this with this vacuum as well for the international shipping part of it this item can be shipped to select countries outside of the u.s um so anything in that sort it should be good to go on there with protection plans as well um, like the return policy um, it is eligible for return refund or replacement this can be returned in its original condition for full refund or replacement within 30 days of the receipt is what it shows on the amazon website below the product so i'll just let you guys go over what the plans are and as well as the sim card for service activation if that's what you're also interested in um, don't know much about that but i'll let you guys go ahead and check out that on the three-year protection plan if that's something you are interested in that would be $25.99 um, and then it just going over the bullet points and what it covers and how it can benefit you in the future if something were to go wrong in whichever time that you have the machine and here's some extra information just so I know I don't miss anything if you want to see all the rest of maybe what I did not answer on here so Go ahead and check these little three pictures out and yeah there you go all right guys thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video if you're interested in more content like this like detailed more in-depth tutorials anything diy please feel free to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss a thing thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video Bye bye